what's good guys so you click on this video because you want to add snapchat filters to your webcam in obs To get this started, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to snapcamera.snapchat.com. I left the link in the description below so you can go ahead and follow along in this video. But once you get to the site, you wanna go ahead and select the download button. Now this application, it'll work for Windows or for Mac, so you'll be good to go either way. The installation process is very straightforward, so just go through the pages, select next until you get to the finish screen, and then you can launch the Snap Camera app. Now, some of you guys, your camera may not be showing up in the feed of the Snap Camera app. So if that's the case, you wanna go to the settings icon on the top right-hand side there, and then under choose your camera, you're gonna to wanna to select that dropdown and select the camera that you want to use for this application. Once you select it, you should be able to see your feed in the Snap Camera application. If you still, for some reason, can't see it, then you're gonna need to shut down the other applications that may be using your camera. So like if you're using the Cam Link or the Elgato Face Camera, those can only be used in one application at a time. So if your camera's already running in OBS, you're gonna need to either disable the camera in OBS or close out of OBS. Now that Snap Camera can see your webcam, you can scroll down below and check out all the different filters that are offered to you. If you want to check them out go ahead and select one and you'll see it applied to your webcam if you really like one of the filters that you see then you can select the star icon on the left side of one of the filters and that'll add it to your favorites for easier accessibility I was playing around with this quite a bit so you can see in my inventory I have quite a few favorites here now if we go ahead and launch OBS what we can do to pull in that snap camera source is by going to one of your scenes and then going to sources, you're going to want to add a new video capture device source. You can name it whatever you'd like. And then you're going to want to select the device dropdown and select the snap camera. Once you do that, you'll see the webcam from Snap Camera added in the OBS. So that means anytime that you apply a filter within Snap Camera, you'll see it in OBS as well. Now, what if you guys wanna easily switch between different filters within the Snap Camera without having to go to the app every single time and changing it manually? Well, to do that, you're gonna wanna set up hotkeys. So you're gonna wanna head over to your favorites and then select the lens hotkeys option on the right side of that favorites panel. And within here, you can add the hotkey of your choice to whichever filter that you'd like. So you can see that I've actually added quite a few hotkeys here using like the shift and the X or the shift Z. You can also use the control plus another key and the alt key plus another key. As long as you're following that type of format, the hotkey will save. So now when I go back into OBS and I press that hotkey, it'll automatically turn the filter on and off. We got our camera filters looking pretty good right now, but what if we wanna add a voice changer to the mix? Well, the program I recommend you guys download is called Voice Mod. With their free version, they have a rotation of several different voice changers that you guys can check out on a daily basis. Whereas if you get the pro version of Voice Mod, you'll have access to their entire voice changing catalog. As of to date, making this video, Voice Mod only works on Windows devices. They are actively working on a macOS version, which should be out soon. But if you guys are looking for a good voice changer on the macOS side in the interim, I definitely recommend checking out MorphVox Jr. It's completely free and it gives you a bunch of different voice changing effects that you can play around with. Now, circling back to Voice Mod, you want to make sure that you have your preferred microphone selected in the Voice Mod software. Just remember to get that Voice Mod audio into OBS. You want to go to your audio settings and then for one of the mic auxiliary drop downs, you want to select the Voice Mod virtual audio device and you'll get your voice changer audio in there. Once you find a voice that you think matches up well with one of your Snapchat filters, then you're just going to want to copy the exact key bind that you use in the Snap Camera app and apply it to one of the voices in the Voice Mod application. So now let's say, for example, you've set Shift Z for both of those key binds. When you do that, your filter will activate as well as the voice changing effect. To turn off the snap filter, just press the exact same key bind again, but to turn off the voice filter, you're gonna to wanna to set up a separate key bind for the clean voice effect. This is where if you own a stream deck, you can perform all these key bind actions with a single click of a button. In the Elgato Stream Deck software, you can search up the voice mod plugin and install it into your Elgato Stream Deck software. Then you can go ahead and configure a multi-action switch where you'll be able to configure two different types of actions. So one's gonna enable our voice 
and the filter where the second option is gonna be able to disable both of those features. So whatever hotkey you are using for your snap camera, go ahead and add that in. And then you're also gonna wanna add the voice changer feature from voice mod into the same action. And then within the drop down below, you can select the voice that applies to this particular filter. So in this case, you don't need to have any hotkeys associated with anything in voice mod. It's all gonna be working in the Stream Deck app. If you move over to the second action, you're gonna wanna have the system hotkey the exact same. And then for your voice mod voice changer, you're gonna wanna select the clean voice. So check this out. I use the same key bind for the same filter that I wanna pair with it. Now they're all together. And now I just press the key binds to turn it off like that. And now all the audio is gone and the filter is gone. Definitely something very cool and powerful that you can do with the Stream Deck if you own one. I know we don't talk about it too much on my channel, but boy, is it a good resource to take your streams to the next freaking level. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Check out these helpful videos up on screen right now, and I will catch you in my next video.